fishing trips. I ago. forgot, dude. Yeah, and uh, I've got a nice fish. Ready? I'm ready. Perfectly straight. Got my buddy Lance here, the wood man, to help me out on this very delicate situation on, on the wall. Just look at him. Okay, look it look at that. Look at that. Ah, that's good. Them Germans know how to make tools. What is that, a Makita? Best tool. We gotta cut it to spec, as they say, in the bigs. <laughs> when a man wears some shorts like that, you know he's pretty serious about his, his five, craft. Five years of expertise. I, I had these when we went to college together. God, hey! You know what? I think I remember those. <laughs> Actually, Oakley's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Probably went golf, we went fishing that got golf a little Got a little acid hole. Gosh, man, that was bringing back some memories right there. Me and Lance used to fish together in college and play baseball. We didn't work on wood stuff back then, but we're grown ups now, doing man things. How do you like my bass? It's good against the wall, doesn't I've it? I've caught one that size. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Held on to you and I reached out and I grabbed the very tip of it. It was it was in the bottom, I think it was that fork. You dove in the water? I didn't dive in, we were fishing and I snagged one of your rods. And it was like a brand new rod, like you just got it for Christmas. Like a $300 uh, rod. I was probably upset. You time. were, and then like I literally, like my last reach, you I got, got it. it, I got it. Skills. Yeah. Skills, it was, it was save lovely. the day. Could've ended our relationship right there. Take this. And that's gonna release it so you can plunge down. The bottom out and then right you go there, forward. And then just go forward. That's a smooth tool. Scrub it like an armpit. You scrub your armpit for that? Yeah. <laughs> Keep the ticks off. <laughs> that'll, that'll work. I like that. Perfect. Alright. That was close. Still got my digits. I can still set the hook. Get in there. Yes. It's this one, this okay. board right here. That was some quality cuts. This would have taken me 16 hours to do on my own. Lance, thank you for your expertise. Go back to crafting. I will finish the wall. Project. Big thanks to my buddy Lance for helping me out with it. We got our table there with the bass and now it's starting to start growing. But the one thing that we do need uh, is a table. I need to get a table right here to put in the middle of the room. And this is going to be the backdrop. So I need a table where I can put the cup of coffee on. You know what I'm saying? And just enjoy the woodsman, fisherman, whatever we want to call it, ambiance. It just makes me feel good to be next to a wood wall. So I've been wanting to give you guys updates on this as I go along. This is a quick one. Today, it's gonna to grow, and uh, I think it's gonna be cool when we look at like a year from now, how much stuff's gonna be on it, and just watch it grow as the every video goes up. I'm gonna tell you what that also does, though, is it wears you out. And we are in the afternoon right now, um, still torching hot, it's the hottest part of the day, so we're gonna wait till it gets dark, and then we're gonna go night fishing, y'all. Look at what we have aboard. I'm gonna go meet Lunkers at the lake. It's very difficult to film at night. I've tried to do it before in the past, never really comes out good but there are some big fish that move up shallow in the night so we're going to try it for a couple hours and we're going to be using some of the new Guggen baits and i want to show you guys more of that we've been kind of just keeping it on the dl and we've had we had a limited supply we set those aside just for y'all before uh, the baits go into retail stores and online and everything like that and you guys bought them all uh, so I know there's a lot of you that have them and um, I'm going to be doing more and more videos with the baits and going into details uh, about them and just telling the whole story because this has been like a, uh, a year long process getting this thing done. If the footage is just really bad at night, I'll just come back and I'll show you guys, give you the rundown, give you some, some tips and everything. And we'll try to do it over there by the wall that I'm 
almost finished with. Actually, I'm not even close. Just thought I'd kid, kid ourselves. But Lunkers is on the way to the lake. I gotta get this thing rigged up, ready to go. I'll see you guys out on the water. Got Lunkers with me out here on the lake. And we're about to do some night fishing. We haven't done it since, I think, last summer. Yeah. And it was a steamer. At least we got a little bit of wind tonight. We're gonna take some big old worms, maybe some chatterbaits, spinnerbaits, things like that. And I haven't really talked to you guys much about the mono worm. I, I mentioned it once when I was night fishing uh, with OSG on, on fireworks time. We're taking these big 10 inch worms. We're gonna Texas rig them. We're gonna put them on shaky heads. We're gonna drag them down rocks. Um, these are great for night fishing. They're great for summertime. And we're gonna see if we can catch a couple mondos out here. I think there's some big ones swimming around. We're just gonna have a good old time, man. Buddy's not fishing in the summer. That's a good time. Well, Rob's got my first fish on. About yes. three pound. They, they drag it over here. That, that was my first cast, by the way. Oh, not quite night fishing, but first cast with the Mondo worm on the shaky head. <laughs> This is really typical to our start, by the way, I was saying. Rob had a uh, backlash <laughs> from a reel from like other other fishing trips I ago. forgot, dude. It's so yeah, and uh, I've got a nice fish right here. That's a really quality fish. Look at that Mondo worm in his mouth. Woo! Absolutely hammered it. Thank you so much for the fight. Have a good summer night. Ready to go yeah, now. All back. Just giving it a dangle. There's a, there's a bass over there. Those guys caught a bass too, but it's going in the grease for sure. Three pounder or so, so sad. I think we're gonna continue the worm game. That fish came in about 15 feet of water probably. That's a little deeper than I normally night fish, but it's not even dark yet. We already got a fish in the boat. Winning! Lunkers bringing in another fish. On that Mondo. Didn't shy away from that brain, did he? No. I don't think he's too worried about that. I think he's more worried about the 94 degree water tone. This time we switch places, I'm long on a rock and you're catching fish. <laughs> oh. You guys like that audio pretty good, huh? <laughs> Even the little ones aren't scared of the Mondo one. Look at that. They crush it pretty good. Yeah, it was a doop doop. I just love everything it was. They ain't scared of it. Hey, semis, how you doing? We're just trying to make a video here. Dead still? Dead still, just dead sticking it. There he is. Scheme across the water. I just had a dead rat. You guys missed that. <laughs> <laughs> Rock catches the fish. That rat was probably about the size of that fish. That was, it was, it was. It was a big one. You gotta take a photo of this one. This is a glorious one. It's dark 30. I actually just caught a fish. My camera poo pooed. Rob is doing a great job behind the camera. We had a great scene. The sun's go down. Hopefully, the big one's coming to the night. Like a bat. Like a large bat. I also caught a rat. You guys missed that as well. So, it's eventful. Now this is what I'm talking about right here, y'all. I got my desk set up now. Look at the wood wall, doesn't it look good? So this is a beginning look of what I've been trying to envision for this area. Um, I'm gonna make a better desk here, do more content in here, and be able to talk to you and have some room to play with some stuff and uh, help you guys out, answer questions, do more live streams, everything. So this is gonna change. This is just a makeshift little section, but dead gummit. Feels good. Now me and Rob did catch some fish last night. Uh, after dark, it got a little tricky. It got real windy, actually. I've noticed that this past week. It's been super windy as soon as the sun goes down, but we did catch some fish using the Mondo worms. We threw a chatterbait a little bit in some windy areas, but didn't end up catching anything. I wanted to focus on this a little bit more, show you guys some of the colors, show you guys the rigging, but I'm gonna dive deeper into the story of Googie Baits for a minute because I'm sure a lot of you are curious, where, where did this come from? Quite honestly, it's a little bit of a dream come true for me to be able to work in the fishing industry, wanting to be uh, uh, involved with the industry. I even tried to make my own plastics, pour my own plastics. Back when I, when I was in college, I had a kit and I was pouring things and I had this vision that I was gonna make all these baits and have this big company and that didn't end up happening. But eventually learning and getting with the right people and just having the experience of using a ton of different baits on the water, I was able to come together with a great team and we really made some awesome baits. I'll be doing a live stream tomorrow to go over some more questions and things like that about these baits, but I'm just going to focus on the Mondo worm for now and talk about the night fishing experience um, and why this is great for that. 10 inch worms are just notorious in the summertime uh, for catching fish. You can fish them around wood, uh, deep ledges, 
rock, I mean, all, all sorts of stuff. You know, big worms catch big fish. If I had to rate five baits that catch big fish, I would say a jig, a spinner bait, a big worm like this, a swim bait, maybe a, a big spoon or something like that. Not saying a drop shot can't catch a mondo, that happens quite a bit, but I'm just saying over time, what has proven to catch big fish are those top, all those top baits I just mentioned. So I designed this bait. I've used a lot of big worms over on Lake Fork. It's great for fishing around trees. It's just a very effective lure starting in May, going all the way through uh, October, really, the fall months. What I wanted to do was to create a sickle tail style worm. This is different than your traditional ribbon tail style worm. This just kind of makes a uh, one U and after that U there's just a slight angle and it has the flange. It has the, uh, a patented flange that we licensed to really create the thump, the movement. You don't have to move this bait very fast uh, at all to get that big movement. So when you look at this worm, you'll see a lot of body to it. The tail really isn't that long in comparison to a lot of 10 inch worms, but because of that flange and that sickle tail, it just catches a lot of water and moves a lot of water. The most popular style for this is definitely Texas rig because you can fish it through just about anything. So the way you want to rig this worm on Texas rig, at least a quarter just to get the tail movement but most of the time I'm throwing a 3 8 ounce if I'm fishing deeper than uh, 10 feet of water. Uh, I'll peg that up and then a 5 aught offset worm hook. So that, this is what that looks like right here. 5 aught offset worm hook, I haven't had any problems getting the hook into the fish uh, with that hook. So I think that's the great hook for that gives it a ton of action, but you still get the good hookups. Now one of the other ways to rig it is on a shaky head. If you can find a 5 aught hook in a, in a shaky head, that's the way to go. So that's what I have right here. The, the first two to first three sections of the worm, just bite that off. And then that'll turn it into basically an eight inch worm. It gives you a nice flat surface to work with as you're pegging it against this. And I really like that for fishing around rocks and brush piles that I can pretty much get through. If it's a really nasty brush pile, I'm gonna go with the Texas rig. Depending on the water clarity, I'm gonna throw that on 12. That's skimping it right there. I wouldn't go less than 12. 12 uh, to up to 20 pound test line for most situations. You know, most of the time I'm going with 16. Now, another thing that makes these baits really good that you guys can't see on camera is the, uh, the stint, the slaunch sauce. Kind of has a sweet, spicy smell like that anise, but it also has some shrimp scent in it. Uh, so it's a mixture of those two, and it doesn't. It's not like really nasty. Like if you have these in your car, and you know, it's not gonna like smell like shrimp or something. You know, it's gonna smell sweet. So I personally like the smell of it. But the other thing that we have is salt. We have really, really high quality premium salt that adds weight to the plastic. It changes the movement of the plastic depending on the salt content. Uh, a lot of people overlook that, but our salt and scent combo in these baits, I guarantee you, is top notch, best in the industry. Some of the colors I really like for night fishing, black and blue and plum. Just going off personal experience and everything, dark colored worms usually work the best for me. So those two rigs, those colors, those are really good for night fishing and just big worms in general are great summertime baits. They're gonna be a lot of the big box stores, web stores, all that stuff coming real soon. So it's gonna be really, really fun to watch these baits take off. I know they will, because they're gonna be some of the best plastics. And if you guys wanna be a part of the big mega launch that we're doing at ICAS, I invite you uh, to come down to Orlando. The morning of the 10th, 10 a.m., we're going to be at Lake Toho uh, at the on the water section. We are going to be having a meetup. We just want to shout it out to the world and we want you to be a part of it. So come on by. Details in the description if you guys want to be a part of it. And we have reserved 100 bags of baits for the first 100 people that show up to the meetup down there. So if you guys want to get your hands on these and you just want to be a part of it, come on down to Orlando. That is it guys. Leave me your comments, questions. All of that fun stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you get out and do some night fishing. A lot of huge bass were caught at night uh, in the summertime because it's so hot during the day. The boat traffic is, is pretty quiet at night. 
the big bass come out to play. Thanks for being here. I love you guys. Hit the like button for the wall, man. This thing's going to expand and be just awesome. It's going to be full of fish. So we'll see you back here on the next one, live streaming tomorrow.